Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to clean off system data off of our Mac. So what is system data? Well, before macOS Monterey, it used to be called system storage on our computers, but then it got renamed to system data so that it can include these types of files that I'm going to be listing on the screen right here. So you might be looking at that list and think that this isn't everyday type of files that you deal with, delete, or even know where to find. But today, I'm going to make it really easy on how to deal with that type of system data off of our Mac, starting with step number one, which is to clean off system junk via a program called clean my mac x so let's open up clean my mac x right now and we're gonna hit this beautiful landing page we're gonna go to system junk in the top left corner and we're gonna run a quick scan so right off the bat we can clear just above one gigabytes worth of junk but i'm gonna hit review details to see if we got everything everything seems to be checked off so i'm gonna hit clean and just with a click of the button we removed that much system junk and for you it might be a lot more of that list of files that i showed right in the beginning of this video clean my mac x makes your life so much easier from clearing system junk to maybe optimizing your ram or clearing off large and old files which we will get into in the last tip of this video there's a download link in the description box below to start a free trial or to buy a full version so tip number two we're going to remove time machine backups and these are just little snapshots that our imacs and macbooks create automatically so that when things go awry one day and everything just falls apart we can revert back to these specific time machine backups of a certain day and time when things were running smoothly and then everything should be good but if these things are created automatically in the background and we're not going to go back to them it's just taking up a lot of space on a hard drive so right now i'm going to show you how to get rid of them i'm going to hit command space type in terminal and with this little window right here i want you to type in this command that'll pop up on screen right now and if you have time machine backups that are listed on this little terminal right here i want you to type in this little command right here replace all the x's with the timestamp, and then it'll delete those time machine backups that are just taking up space and that you weren't going to use anyways tip number three we're going to optimize our storage so we're going to hit settings over here go to general and then to storage so on this little menu right here we get an overview of what's taking up so much space on our hard drive down to the partition of applications documents messages music so on and so forth hit this i information button and we get a whole list of files that we could delete and how much space it's taking up you can go ahead and click on any of these files hit delete and then it'll permanently remove it off of your device but this is kind of a long way of doing it in tip number five we're going to do it a super simple way but before we get to that let's hit tip number four so tip number four we're going to remove something called application logs and support files and this is just a fancy name for remnant files that just stayed on your computer when you start deleting unwanted apps off of our computers by dragging it to the trash and removing it that's technically not how you're supposed to do it and because of that there are some leftover files that we need to go and get rid of so let me show you how to do that i'm going to hit finder but we're not going to go anywhere on this window we're going to go to the top left corner go to go and then go to folder now here in the search bar i want you to type in this command and once you do that go ahead and double click on that and you're given this whole list of folders, but if you see any of these folders with the same name of the application that you just deleted, go ahead and grab that file, throw it into the trash and remove it because those are the remnant files that got left over from that application you just deleted. And then go ahead and rinse and repeat that cycle with these two commands that you could punch into that search bar from step one of this fourth tip. So the last tip I'm gonna share with you today is to get rid of large and old files into our downloads folders. Now I'm gonna speak for myself, my downloads folder is garbage and it's full of it. And I'm not going to sit here for days and weeks looking through every single file and deleting what I don't need. So Clean My Mac X is going to make it a lot easier for me and for you. And we're gonna to go to the bottom left corner where it says large and old files, and we're gonna run a quick scan. So here I'm given a whole list complete with the search bar, a whole list of items with its corresponding file size, where I can find these files and even the size of each file from huge average to small and down to the last detail, which is super cool of when I last clicked on these files, which is a year ago, a month ago, or a week ago. Super cool. Now I'm gonna delete a lot of files from this huge section. I'm gonna click remove. And just like that, I got rid of a couple large and old files from just spending 30 seconds in that section of Clean My Mac X. So you can have a ball with this app as well. Download link is in the description if you want. Thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you like it subscribe and comment down below of other ways that we could use to clear off system data off of our macs